What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Corey Laughs at Big Boogie Viral Embarrassment and Boogie Man out a lot. Let's get it. <laughs> So recently I reported that Funny Mike and Jalea may have broken up. Now, although it isn't confirmed, Jalea went on to Twitter and stated, Bay, I love you. You my everything. Someone asks Funny Mike and he responds with, she ain't talking about me, bro. So Jalea oh, may man. have herself a new boo. But let's move on to this next topic with this whole big boogie situation. Well, I'm happy for Jalea. Now, recently I reported <laughs> Ghetto Barbie and Johnny Blaze getting into an argument. And in the midst of their argument, Ghetto Barbie exposed a message from Johnny Blaze stating that Big Boogie's manhood doesn't smell too well. Why it smelled like straight? He just rammed up in a man, dead lamb. So now Corey and Danny. <laughs> That'll never get old. Rammed up in a mint of dead lamb. Whatever. Are out on vacation in Turks and Caicos. And of course they had to make a little joke about the situation. Man, I swear to God, I'm starving. I, I got here. I just want to let you know I'm the only one that shower lives. Not you didn't shower. I was on a dirty right now. You dirty. It's dirty. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they shady as hell. They so shady. <laughs> and you know how I feel about you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, to get you on some shower. <laughs> so you know what I did? <laughs> I got a fucking towel. I wash you off. <laughs> I got a towel and wash that nigga off. And I let your ass lay there. Like, better like quick. Oh, bro, I gotta restart, bro. This shit. I ain't got to take, I spit off the alcohol a little bit. Oh, bro, y'all need to stay off the alcohol. <laughs> Jeez, so, right now, that's why I'm so far away from your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to be under you and shit. Oh, shit. The girl said the boy got dirty. Well, hell no. I got to go take you a shower, man. Stinking ass on that side. I swear my stink. You know it don't. You go kiss it right now. I guarantee it. But do stink smell like you. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> hey, hey, so if you do stink, if you do smell, just don't make up from. Come from your name. Dude, she might not dude. have got none because she said it, he was foggy. I tried my best. She did say she w tried to wash him. Dude, dude. You know what? I told you last night. I said, Corey, I said, I tried to go find <laughs> some milk. I tried to go find milk and pickle juice. First of the all. The fuck you need milk and pickle juice for? They didn't have no milk. And with the milk they had, when I looked at the box, I said, I don't know. He might spit this shit out. Uh, yeah. So I left it down. And then I went, I said, y'all got pickle juice? Man. Like, nah. So I got you some water. I said, Corey, drink the water. He said, drink the water weird. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> sure <the> did. <laughs> So now Big Boogie is Weird denying these allegations and he had both Johnny Blaze and Ghetto Barbie go back to clear up all of these rumors. So I said I wouldn't be speaking about a lot of stuff, but my friendships are important with people and I'm really, really cool with Boogie. And just the whole thing of the text messages, like that had nothing to do with Boogie. That was nothing that he or me can control when somebody else does something. But as far as speaking about him, let it be known, I had did that because every guy that I either was cool with or at the time, which this was about a year ago, this wasn't recent, y'all. So don't try to say that, you know what I'm saying, it's people's relationships. No, this is prior. This was a while ago. And... Every person that I talked to, she always wanted to go and backdoor me. So what I did is I started talking shit so that she wouldn't try to go and talk to the person. So that's what that was the case of. But Oh, damn. Mm. None of that stuff was true about Boogie. That's my dog. Like, I don't even play like that. So you guys heard what Johnny Blaze had to say. Now, this was Ghetto Barbie's explanation as to why that was posted. When I see a nigga that, that was fine and it was a celebrity, I'd be like, oh, he's so fine. And Johnny will hop in and she'll be like, oh, I fucked him. Oh, he got a big, you know what I'm saying? So one time I had said, big Boogie is fine. 
So Johnny hurries up and goes and fuck him. Then she sent me the text message audio of it. You know, basically trying to be like, oh, yeah, bitch, I fucked him already. That's the type of bitch she is. So that's why she mother me that recording saying that Big Boogie. I don't believe Big Boogie at all. Okay. <laughs> it's the last. Then why would she put it out? Damn. What? Bitch, you can't beat me. You can't outdo me. What, bitch? You just gonna keep lying until what? Bitch, them lies ain't gonna make me pull up on you so you can call the police. Them lies is not gonna make me pull up on you. I ain't mad about no lie, baby. Take your poly ass, camera pulling out, recording every mother thing. So Boogie responds to Corey and anyone else that had anything to say about the situation. He states, I'm getting too much money to even move like you goofballs. SSA boys. I'm somebody, not a nobody. I smell like flowers, though. Now, as I stated, Corey and Danny are in Turks right now, and it seems you probably like... probably do smell good. <clears throat> oh, here it is. <sighs> Uh, we're closing on our four bedroom newly built duplex in Turks and Caicos on Monday. I truly got to thank my mans for introducing me to more black multimillionaires who owns their own gas station, fuel companies, apartment complexes, and hotels. They've been wanting Corey to invest into real estate for two years, so we decided to come together, split the cost evenly, and everything it's tax free. We had a choice to purchase a hotel for three million, another house for one million, or a duplex for three hundred fifty-three k to use it as an investment property for a tourist. So we chose the duplex apartment. Um, I never questioned the route that God has in store for me, but what I will tell you is that I'm grateful to have a man with the same mindset. I'm just getting into the real estate game to game, so now it's time to master it. Also, we're thinking about purchasing a few acres in Houston, too, in two weeks. God is good. Make sure you add they're making out they're making out of the country investments at the end of your gossiping session. Like they may have <clears throat> bought some property there. Danny goes on to post, we're closing on a four-bedroom newly built duplex in Turks and Caicos. More okay, I just read on the it. Game, so now it's time to master it. Country and purchasing property together. Time and side for her pick with Queen Nyjah. Now she recently did a private live for her paying supporters. Now she was given a story time, and somehow the shade room got this video and posted it on their Instagram. One time this guy walked up to me in Target. Y'all, this stuff really be happening. He walked up to me in Target. He said, "Hi, how you doing? My name is Da Da Da," and like put his hand out to sh uh, shake my hand. I just looked at him like. Boy, it's COVID going on. And then um, I thought he would have said something else. I don't know. He could say something. What you doing after this? You want to catch, catch some drinks? Like, first of all. First of all, Queen, why are you in Target by yourself? I hate when Honey Sauce go to a store by herself. What are we doing? We either need to be together. You need to have a strap. The strap you know. Uh-uh. You need to get this right. Who are, this is why I probably should have security. I'm gonna hold you. Oh. But first of all, it's like who goes to Target, meet somebody at 5 p.m. in the day, and say, "Hey, let's go get drinks." Are you an alcoholic? Are you an alcoholic? It'd be so many things that y'all don't even know, like that be happening to me, and I don't say anything when I'm out. Let me just clarify before somebody take that small little clip, and then it'd be somewhere. <clears throat> oh, yeah, be annoying. Where your husband and boyfriend? Oh, uh -huh. that's another thing. They be like, "Where your man at? Where? Why do you care where my man is?" And no, I can't have friends. No, I don't want to have friends. So Queen was shocked. She left in the comment section, wait a minute, how y'all get this? Then she states, and now people like, we don't need to know this. Of course y'all don't, because it wasn't for y'all. Someone right. responds with, who was it for? You posted it on the internet. Queen responds with, it was for my supporters who joined my broadcast channel. And then Shade Room brought it to the public. So this just goes to show you that nothing you do on the internet is private. But anyways, you guys Well, she should have known that. I cannot believe y'all actually think that people, you say, make this private and people going to actually make it private. Like, huh?
going on? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.